hey guys welcome back to my channel so today i'm going to be showing you guys how we achieve this tribal cornrow and box braids look so the back portion of her hair we're going to be doing the individual braids and i'm starting at the back this time because i feel like it makes the process a little bit faster for me because normally i would do the cornrows first but for whatever reason i decided to do the braids first and i'm glad i did that because that's where really most of the work is so just getting it out of the way um, so to start off, I'm going to be adding some product. I'm using the Shining Jam on her hair. This is going to help me, you know, braid her hair so much better and help me with the gripping of her natural hair. As you can see, we're doing the box parting this time around and what we're doing is creating window formations whereas each braid is going to fall right in between a different braid at the bottom. So just like I've taught you guys numerous times for box braids, um, you know we're not doing anything different here just the basic box braids but I'll go over it again with you guys in a little bit just so we can refresh you know our memories and stuff like that but um, yeah we're not really doing anything special we're just you know braiding as we normally would and then just using a little bit of that jam to give us you know a smoother finish so like I said we're doing a window formation so we're creating that box right in between the, the two boxes we've created at, created at the bottom roll so after that just add a little bit of your jam and then proceed on to attaching the braiding hair for the braiding hair we're using the free tress hair and i believe this is a um 1b slash 27 mix i'll be sure to link the right color and the link to this hair below i really love the the way the ombre naturally goes from like the mix of the blonde all the way to you know the actual blonde at the bottom so it has like a mix of the 1b and the blonde and then it fades into the color 27 at the at the bottom so it's a very very nice natural realistic ombre look and it really really complemented her skin tone and it was it was very pretty i can't wait for you guys to see the finished product uh so for the sides we're going to be doing two braids coming towards the front of her face and as you can see her hair is a little bit short so we're just going to be adding that jam this is going to give her more length and just like give the hair um what do you call it give it more strength when you add product to the hair it kind of thickens it a little bit making it easier for you to braid um so that's why i added the product uh, mostly on her hair for the braids and for the cornrows and we're just going to be doing slightly uh fitting braids for the you know for the braids going towards the front of her face we're just going to be adding bits and pieces of hair as we as we go along um what it what's going to do is create uh like a transition from like small to large uh, size cornrows for her hair and yeah. repeat this step on the other side of her hair as well as you can see we did two braids coming towards the side of her face so we're gonna repeat the same thing on the other side of her hair as well so for the actual tribal braids we're gonna be doing a, a cornrow going down the middle of her hair and same thing we're gonna be doing same thing we did at those braids on the side we're just gonna be repeating the same steps in the front just add a little bit of that jam product to make it to make it easier for you to braid and then we're gonna begin so for her cornrows what I like to do is start braiding with her natural hair and then I add hair as I go the reason I like braiding with the natural hair first is because you know it creates a more natural finish and because the hair we're gonna be using is a mix of blonde it's important to start with her natural hair first because her hair is already that natural brown and then you add the, the blonde as you go because it just creates a very very seamless finish with the ombre look um, so yeah, I really liked it this way and yeah, just add hair as you go and just uh, I don't know if I've gone over that I think I've gone over the fitting method with you guys before I'll be sure to link that video in my description Make sure you check it out before you watch this It makes it easier for you to, for you to understand the method I use to add hair as I go 
uh, I kind of counted so I'm gonna I'll go over it again with you guys um, in a little bit so just kind of hang in there um, but yeah Again, just add that shining jam product uh, it's really gonna help you grab the hair a lot better and then just begin braiding her natural hair and then we're gonna add hair into the braids like maybe after we've done like five or not five like three braids and then you add the hair leave the left hand side braid once bring that other hair back down braid down twice and then add hair again uh, leave the other end out and then you bring that hair you left out braid it twice and then you add hair again um, lift the other end out bring the hair you left out bring it towards where you're braiding braid twice add hair again and you repeat the same step over and over until you've gotten the the thickness that you want to achieve with your cornrows um, so yeah hopefully that pattern helps you um, break it down a little bit better uh, some people do different patterns, but I feel like this is the easiest. Um, this is the easiest. Easiest. <laughs> this is the easiest pattern I learned um, that helped me kind of learn how to do the feeding braids a little bit better. So if you want, you can kind of keep practicing on that. And you know, the more you practice, the better you're gonna get. So uh, make sure you get the practice in. Um, so yeah, and then we just do this. Uh, same process and repeat this all through the hair until we're done uh, and I'll see you guys when we dip the hair in hot water. I 
Make sure you have a towel around her neck and you also have a towel on your shoulder because you're going to use that towel to kind of dab the dripping hot water make sure she's secure and make sure you're good and comfortable and just dip the hair you can section it off if it's easier for you that way um, so when you're done just take a pair of scissors and trim any flyaway hairs you might see hanging loose um, and then don't forget to put the beads if you want uh, you don't have to put the beads on but you know that was the look we were going for so she decided to put the beads on um, I thought the, the beads added to the whole tribalistic floral style it was super cute and I just take my mousse and apply that to her hair what this is gonna do is give it some shine lay down any flyaways and then what I like to do now is use my spritz so when I spray the spritz it's gonna help keep down the flyaways that you know we just try to slick down with the mousse and of course don't forget to slick down your baby hairs um, she has some shorter hair around the perimeter so I just took my edge control and laid that down with the argan oil cream of nature uh, extra hold hair control and then edge control <laughs> and I apply the she um, what do you call that the sheets and the silk do rag and then I put her under the dryer for like a little bit and then we took her right out and yeah that's how we got this look um, it was very very uh, it was very very cute I really loved her color selection because we could have done like a simple black but you know she chose to do the the blonde and I just thought it was like so cute I think it really made the whole look um, it was very very nice I think if I were to get this hairstyle I would definitely get mine this color so yeah it was very very cute and of course you can do different styles with it you can wear it in a half up half down you can wear it just like this or you can do the halo braids that we did um, so she actually sent me a picture I don't know if you guys follow Jalicia styles she sent me her photo this was the inspiration for the hairstyle and she said she really really wanted that hairstyle so that's where we got the whole look inspo from I'll be sure I think she has a YouTube channel now I'll try to link her video in the um, her channel link in the description she's so 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 talented 
make sure you guys check her out and yeah she's very very dope so she also did the halo look um i'm not sure how she did it but i did my best to try and recreate that halo braid uh braided look and it came out super cute um not as polished as hers of course but you know we did our thing we did our best um but yeah it was really really cute but anyways thank you guys so much for watching this tutorial i hope you guys found it interesting i hope you love the hairstyle as much as we did um, make sure you give the video a thumbs up make sure you share it and we'll see you guys on our next video have a merry day and god bless